Hello everyone, this is Rachel live from Kalkine Studios and you're watching the IPO Corner Show, a show that's dedicated to the IPO market performance and brings you hot public offerings and all important information about the listing companies under the spotlight. In today's show, we're going to look at the hot IPOs which are expected to list on the Australian Securities Exchange next week. We'll also look at important details an investor would want to know before investing in these IPOs. The Australian IPO market has gained momentum again after the calmness of the last few weeks. Next week, not one or two, but nine companies are lined up to make a debut on the domestic exchange. According to the ASX website, September is going to be one of the busiest months as far as IPO listings are concerned. As many as 28 companies file prospectuses for public listings to cash in a bullish market trend as well as record low interest rates to meet their business objectives and stay afloat. This current IPO boom has been triggered by a recent rally in the Australian equity market, which propelled millions of investors, especially millennial first-time investors, to go shopping for IPOs. The benchmark index, AXX200, scaled the new heights of 7,600 points level in August. The surge on the stock market has led to a sharp rise in IPO activity, with a long list of companies launching their offers to join the ASX. The list includes a swathe of metals and mining companies, especially gold miners, as companies rush to capitalise higher commodity prices as well as record low interest rates. This year is expected to be a bumper year for ASX metals and mining IPOs thanks to continued stimulus spending. As many as five companies, including Ballymore Resources, Healthco Healthcare and Wellness, REIT, Midas Minerals, Rubicon Water and Tech Ocean Group made their ASX debut so far this month. The trend will gain a momentum next week as nine companies such as Heavy Minerals, X2M Connect, West Cobar Metals, Coonanbury Gold, Legacy Minerals, Pearl Gull Iron, SSH Group, Star Minerals and Way2 VAT will start trading on the ASX. So let's take a look at these IPOs. First on the list is Israeli-based small cap financial technology company Way2 VAT, which is slated to list on the ASX on the 14th of September. The Israeli tech firms raised $7 million by issuing 35 million shares in its IPO. The shares, which opened for retail subscription between the 11th and 27th of August, were issued at an offer price of 20 cents apiece. The lot size of the IPO was 10,000 shares and in multiples of 2,500 shares. So investors had to invest a minimum of $2,000 to buy shares of the company. Headquartered in Israel, way Too vet is registered as a foreign company here in Australia. It's a fintech that owns a web application which helps companies to reclaim many types of value-added tax in many verticals. Value-added tax is also known as VAT, goods and services tax, in certain jurisdictions. This is the second attempt by the company to list its shares on the ASX as it scrapped its listing plan in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Moving on, New South Wales-based gold explorer Coonanbury Gold is all set to be listed on the domestic exchange on the 17th of September. The stock was initially proposed to be listed on the 24th of August, but the date was deferred due to an undisclosed reason. The company looked to raise $10 million at an offer price of 20 cents apiece. It's an Australian gold explorer engaged in a gold exploration and development project in New South Wales. The company owns and operates the Coonanbury Gold Project, spread across 1,339 kilometres and comprises 12 exploration licences. The company holds 100% interest in the project through its fully funded subsidiary, Lassiter Gold. It's time now for a very short break, but stay tuned with me on Kalkine TV. Hi, I'm Sage, and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Kalkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Kalkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Kalkine TV.
Hello and welcome back to the IPO Corner Show. Let us look at some more IPO listings now. Another miners that all set to list on the ASX with its $5 million IPO is Western Australian-based gold explorer Star Minerals. The stock is set to start trading on the 16th of September. Under the IPO, the company has issued 25 million ordinary shares at an offer price of 20 cents per share. The company intends to use their IPO proceeds to fund the development of the advanced Tumblegum South Gold project. And safety, security, staffing and equipment solutions provider SSH Group is likely to start trading on the ASX on the 17th of September. The company had looked to raise $6.25 million at 20 cents a share in its public offering. The company provides a range of safety and people services, including security, labor hire and road safety services to the construction, mining, civil and government market sectors in Western Australia. Another IPO that's joining the bandwagon of new listings is the technology company X2M Connect. They're expected to list on the 10th of September. The company has issued 32 million shares at an offer price of 25 cents per share to raise $8 million. X2M is primarily focused on the online space to digitalize the utility sector in the Asia-Pacific region. The company is initially targeting electricity, gas, water and other utilities in the APEC region. It's also secured supply contracts with clients across Taiwan, Australia, China and others. Moving on, industrial minerals explorer Heavy Minerals is set to list on the ASX on the 14th of September after raising $5.5 million in its IPO. Under the IPO, the company has issued 27.5 million ordinary shares at an offer price of 20 cents per share. The mining company holds a 70% stake in the Inhambane Mineral Sands project in Mozambique, which is operated by world-leading miner Rio Tinto and Savannah Resources. The company also owns a 100% stake in the Port Gregory Garnet project in WA. Now the sand there has a significant localized enrichment of heavy minerals, notably garnet, and to a lesser extent, Elmanite. Now, if you are planning on investing in these IPOs, I'm going to share the process with you. To invest in an IPO, prospective investors need to be registered with a participating broker or lead manager. Investors can also apply themselves by filling the application form attached to the company's prospectus. Those who've missed out due to too many applications, don't be too perturbed. They can still be part of the company's success story once it goes public. All they need to do is register with a shared trading platform or a broker who has access to the ASX. However, it has to be said, before investing in IPOs, investors must check the credibility and the track record of the company. The risk appetite level varies by investors and they need to consider factors such as the analyst view, brokerage rated, ratings, industrial outlook, financial performance and the peers review before making an investment decision. So that's all from the IPO Corner Show today. Keep watching Calkine TV as we bring the latest news and trending market updates live from Sydney. I'm Rachel signing off for Calkine TV.